Hey, hey, good morning. I am excited to be with you this morning. Thanks for watching this video. It's Miss Michelle, Sunday School in April 2020 on video. Last week it was Easter and I wanna talk a little bit about that today as well. But I first wanna start by talking about um, good news. Do you have any ideas of what good news could be? Like if someone said, hey Ellen or hey Nora, what is something good that someone could tell you? What's good news? Could you say something like, the sun is out today. That's good news, right? That's one example of good news, a sunny day. What about another example of good news? How about, um, hey, we found your favorite toy that was lost and now it's found. That's an example of good news, right? Or maybe you get to have a treat, some ice cream, some dessert, maybe some Easter candy. That's good news if mom and dad says you're allowed to have a treat. Or what about um, someone sending you some love in a video or getting um, ready to visit you when we're able to visit again? Someone that you love has a message for you. That's good news, right? So we have all kinds of examples of what good news could look like. And even thinking about being able to visit the ocean or go on vacation. Think about, hey, you're gonna get to go to your favorite place. That's good news. So there's all kinds of examples and maybe you're even thinking of something else right now that you would consider good news. Well, today I wanna share with you a little bit about good news of Jesus rising from the dead which is all about the Easter story. And so I wanna read with you from this story Bible about that very moment in history. So as you know, we've talked about this before in Sunday school, when Jesus died, they put him in a tomb. You see this picture here? A tomb, what's that? It's a big, stone it's a big place it was like a cave and they closed it up with a big heavy heavy stone so even even the strongest people could not push that stone just one person they needed multiple people to push it because it was so heavy so Jesus died and they put him in a tomb his friends laid his body in that big tomb they sealed it shut they closed it up and Soldiers guarded the tomb to make sure that no one tried to open it up. So that's Jesus in the tomb after he died. And three days later, what happened? The earth shook. Look at that. Look at that picture. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven and pushed the stone away from the tomb. But it was such a heavy stone. How could anyone possibly push that stone away on their own? Well, the angel was from God. The angel sat on the stone. Now, what would happen if you looked up and saw an angel? It might be a little bit crazy and strange, right? But when the soldiers saw the angel, what happened? Yeah, it was crazy and strange. They fell to the ground. They weren't expecting to see an angel. They weren't expecting to see the tomb opened up. This was nuts. This was not what they expected to see. And at this time, you remember Jesus' friends were really sad. Remember they thought he was dead in the tomb? They thought they had lost him forever. Mary was walking to the tomb with some of her friends. So see, this, these women are sad. The friends are so sad because they thought they had lost Jesus. They saw the angel. And do you guys remember what the angel said? 
when they saw the angel standing there. Do not be afraid. Jesus is not here. He has risen. Do you think they were surprised by that? Yeah, they were really surprised by that. And then the next thing he said was, go and tell Peter and the other disciples that Jesus is alive. And the women believed the angel. They saw that the tomb was empty. Here, I have another picture for you. So when the tomb was sealed up, remember it had this big stone in front of it? See that big cave? It's a heavy, heavy rock in front of it. It was sealed up and the stone was rolled away. The angel was in front of it. And look, it's open. So the women were able to go in and see that the tomb was empty. Jesus' body wasn't in there. What could have happened to it? They were not expecting that at all. And as they were running to start to tell Peter what had happened, look what happened to them on the road. On their way, the women saw who? Who was that? Jesus. They saw him alive in real flesh and blood. They fell to their knees and worshiped him. Jesus smiled and said, go tell the others that I will see them in Galilee. So Mary ran to tell the disciples. They saw Jesus, he is risen. He is alive. What does it mean to say he is risen? It means that he has risen from the dead. He's no longer in the grave. He has conquered death. He has won the battle over death. That's what it means when it says he is risen. And then do you know what happened when Jesus's friends told the other friends and the disciples what they had seen? The women went to tell Peter and the disciples. They said, Jesus is alive. And the disciples thought, how could that be? I saw him. I saw him dead in the tomb. He's not alive. But Peter ran to the tomb. Remember that the tomb was empty. The tomb was open. So Peter ran to that tomb and he went in. He looked around and he did not see a body. He did not see Jesus at all. In fact, you know what he saw? The clothes that Jesus was wrapped in. Just the clothes, not the man. And so he was able to believe. And so that's good news, right? We talked a little bit about some examples of good news in your life, right? We talked about these fun things that happen and things that are good surprises and um, happy things that, that come in your life. And this Jesus risen from the dead is a super important example of good news. And why is it good news? Because Jesus is stronger than death. Jesus is God. And so when he ro rose from the dead, it means that we can also be alive with him if we believe in him. Now, if you remember what the angel said, uh, he said, not only do not be afraid, but then he said, go and tell the others. So how could you think about telling other people about Jesus? Have you ever thought about doing that? Is there somebody that you're thinking about in your family or in your, um, from your school or maybe somebody that you're friends with in your neighborhood that might want to hear about Jesus? What could you do to share that good news? Well, right now we can't do play dates and we can't do birthday parties and we can't hang out together, but there are other ways that we could think about sharing good news. Can you think about a way that you could do that? What about writing a card or drawing a picture to share some encouragement? God loves you, some good news. What about um, singing a song? What if you just sing a song in your house, maybe to your brother or your sister 
or to your mom or your dad or whoever's living in your house right now? Could you share some good news about Jesus even in your house? Um, you could call someone in your family or video, video chat or FaceTime with somebody to let them know that Jesus is alive because it really, really is good news. It's even better news than ice cream for dinner or visiting your favorite vacation beach or finding the toy that you think you lost. It's even better than those things. So let's think about who we could tell this good news to. Okay, I want you guys to learn a verse with me. I'm gonna share it here and we can read it together. This verse is from the book of Revelation. Now that is the last, last, last book in the whole Bible. Revelation chapter one, this is verse 18. Here's what it says. Jesus said, I am the living one. I was dead and behold, I am alive forever and ever. Can you say that with me? Let's read it together again. Jesus said, I am the living one. I was dead and behold, I am alive forever and ever. It is true. Jesus is risen. He is alive. Let's share the good news. Thank you guys. I hope to see you soon. Bye.